Do you wish you knew more intricate nuances about the game to elevate your level of play? Well, today we're going to be talking about just that. What is up, ProGrads family? It is your host, Sergeant Frost, and today we are giving you guys eight settings that you can change that will increase your win rate. Let us not waste any time and hop right into this video. For our first tip of the day, we will be talking about a graphic setting that is within your computer that will allow you to see enemies with better visual clarity. These settings surprisingly aren't that well known by the PC gaming community, but they have the potential to impact your in-game visibility by such a wide margin. These two settings I'm talking about are Digital Vibrance and Contrast, and I'm going to tell you exactly what they do and how to manipulate them. First up, in order to get to these settings, head to your desktop and right-click anywhere on your screen. From there, you'll want to click on NVIDIA Control Panel and head to the Adjust Desktop Color Settings tab. This tab is where you will have all the tools you need to manipulate your computer monitor's color and brightness settings. Within these settings, you will make not only Valorant, but all of your games look a lot more colorful and vibrant. Now that we know where to find these two settings, let me explain what they are. Digital Vibrance or Vibrance is a smart tool which cleverly increases the intensity of the more muted colors and leaves the already well-saturated colors alone. It's sort of like a fill-in light option, but for colors. Vibrance also prevents skin tones from becoming overly saturated and unnatural. NVIDIA's Digital Vibrance will make the colors on your screen pop, per se. This will improve the looks of games like Valorant or CSGO, but also giving you an advantage when it comes to spotting enemies. With Digital Vibrance, the perceived contrast between, say, a field of grass and a player will be a lot higher. This is why streamers like Dr. Disrespect and Hiko use it when they play their games. Now, Contrast works similarly to Digital Vibrance, but it touches a few different areas of the digital image. Contrast is the difference between light and dark in an image. High contrast images will have bright highlights and dark shadows, bold colors, and a show texture in the subject. Low contrast images will have a narrow range of tones and therefore might feel flat or dull. When you see these settings in NVIDIA Control Panel, they will most likely be set to the standard 50%. Slowly increase these two settings to brighten your image display and add richness to the colors your monitor's panel will display. You can keep increasing these settings to your heart's content until they are at a level that you are comfortable with for your visual needs. You can go even further and continue to manipulate these settings or even other settings in NVIDIA Control Panel to increase your computer's performance and visual fidelity. If you want more help learning about how you can improve your gameplay in Valorant, make sure to check out ProGuys.com. You can quickly upload your gameplay VODs on our website and we have coaches online 24-7 who will quickly get back to you and help you on your journey towards improving in Valorant. ProGuys.com will teach you the necessary skills to rank up faster, enjoy the game more, and receive help from our online coaches. You can book a session whenever you need it according to your schedule. No more time being stuck in your ELO. Head over to ProGuys.com to begin the journey to the rank of your dreams. For our second tip, we will be talking about a brand new feature in game settings that improves your game and system performance and has made waves through the PC gaming community. That feature is NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency. Here is a short explanation of what the feature does from the website Pocketlint.com. NVIDIA Reflex is a technology that game developers can use to reduce your system latency and improve your experience in-game. The other highlight of NVIDIA Reflex is that it's designed to reduce system latency even with higher resolutions. Professional gamers tend to play at lower resolutions as that generally means less rendering load and lower latency, but with Reflex, NVIDIA is saying that it will be possible to play games at a much higher resolutions with far less latency. With that being said, NVIDIA Reflex is a savior for both low-end and high-end PC builds. This new revolutionary feature will reduce the system latency between your mouse, computer, and monitor and will make your actions much more quick and responsive while playing in-game. This revolutionary feature isn't exclusive to Valorant either. Other games such as Apex Legends, Fortnite, Cold War, Destiny 2, and Kovacs are now armed with this game-changing feature. The good news is you won't be locked out of this game-changing feature if you don't own a 3000 series NVIDIA graphics card. This new technology isn't limited to the new 3000 series cards either. NVIDIA Reflex will be supported by graphics cards dating all the way back to the company's GeForce 900 series. Even lesser graphics cards will be able to benefit from the system as well. NVIDIA says more affordable GPUs like the 1660 Super will see as much as a 33% improvement in responsiveness when using Reflex, even though obviously the 3000 series cards will see much better gains. With that being said, we recommend turning NVIDIA Reflex to enable plus boost for the most optimal performance in your games. Turning this on will allow you to take advantage of all of your graphics cards computing power. Before we move further into the video, you guys know I couldn't let us forget our question of the day. Today's question is, do you like the new night market experiment that Riot is doing with the in-game store items? Personally, I really like the option of buying whatever skin I want on demand and not having to wait for it to rotate into my personal store. In my opinion, it would be in Riot's best interest to expand this store and make it a permanent feature. This will earn Riot more money because any player can buy any skin they want at any time, and this will be a win for us players because we can come back and buy any skin without the pressure of having to purchase it in a bundle. Let us know in the comment section down below what your answers are. Now, let's get right back to the video. For our third tip, we are still on the topic of improving in-game performance through video settings. Next up, we're going to talk about two features added into Valorant over the past few months that help with in-game clarity and FPS performance. Those two settings are multi-threaded rendering and image sharpening. 
Let us explain the functions of these new features and why you should always have them on. Multi-threaded rendering improves performance in scenes where the cost of managing objects that need to be rendered exceeds the cost of the game simulation and the cost of actually rendering the scene on the GPU. These conditions most commonly occur when moving through scenes with a lot of objects visible. Multi-threaded rendering takes full advantage of your CPU's multiple cores and allows the game to run smoother with less frame drops and random hitching. If this option is available to you, always turn it on, because it will drastically increase both you and your computer's performance when you utilize it. As for the new image sharpening feature that was recently added to Valorant in the last few patches, this is a great setting to have on when playing in-game. Image sharpening adds an anti-aliasing-like effect onto your game's image quality that tightens up the pixel density and cleans up your image quality quite drastically. This feature will help enemies stand out more along with allowing you to track moving targets better. This effect also has the power to allow you to see objects and enemies who are a farther distance away from you compared to if this feature was turned off. As Valorant continues to develop itself as a powerhouse game over time, Riot will continue to add optimization features such as image sharpening and multi-threaded rendering to help our PCs run this game better. Always look into how you can tweak the video settings for your game to give you the best experience while playing. For our fourth tip, we'll be rounding out the video settings portion of this video with giving you guys a tip for increasing your FPS. And that tip is to lower your in-game resolution to gain more FPS. This is a tip that is mainly geared towards players with weaker PCs that struggle to run graphically intense games. Even Valorant can put a strain on some of the most inferior and old rigs out there. We would like to help you with that by giving you a possible solution to help with your FPS woes. If you lower your resolution from 1080p or whatever your native resolution is for your monitor, it will take a load off both your graphics card and your processor and will give you a significant boost in frames. We know the main complaint with this option is that your game's quality will look slightly worse, but gaining a significant boost in frames can be the difference in taking you from being an average player to an above average player in the long run. But if you try it, you might just like the results you get when your computer's performance goes up. For our fifth tip, we'll be moving into the gameplay enhancement techniques through changing your settings. The first change we recommend is binding your crouch ability to spacebar or shift to allow you to crouch shoot better. Many players in Valorant want to crouch shoot like their favorite pros to outplay their enemies in gunfights, but a common complaint we hear is, I can't reach my crouch button in a gunfight. This conundrum is due in part to the fact that the standard default bind for crouch in this game is on control. The control key is a very inefficient bind for crouch, especially for people that want to take advantage of crouch peeking and crouch shooting in gunfights. One change we can suggest is to take your jump or walk bind off of your spacebar or shift and bind crouch to either of those keys. Now, your hand will be in a much more comfortable and natural position to crouch shoot in an instant. We will give recommendations in the next tip on where you should bind your jump, so hold on tight. For our sixth tip, we will give you a life hack that will allow you to time your jumps better and bunny hop with ease. In our previous tip, we recommended taking the jump bind off of your spacebar and putting crouch there as a replacement so that you could crouch shoot easier. Now, our next change we recommend is putting your jump bind on your scroll wheel. Jump on scroll wheel will not only allow you to more accurately time your jumps, it will also allow you to bunny hop smoother and more consistently. Jumping on scroll wheel allows for your keyboard hand to stay in place, and it gives you the freedom to not have to move your hand to tap the spacebar every time you want to jump. If you have an unlocked scroll wheel, you will now be able to jump multiple times in quick succession, all with the quick flick of your finger. Now, on the bunny hopping aspect of this technique, scroll wheel will allow you to control your jumps through scrolling up or down, all while keeping your keyboard hand in one place the entire time. Try out these binds for yourself and see how much smoother your jumps are, and with that smoothness you will see how much more precise and controlled your movements are in-game. For our seventh tip, we recommend adjusting your aim down sight sensitivity in-game. Many players don't realize that their ADS sense in Valor is 1 to 1 or 1.0. This means that by default, your ADS sensitivity in-game will be the same as your normal mouse sensitivity. This can spell trouble for some players, especially people that have a higher than usual sensitivity. We recommend lowering your ADS sensitivity past what your normal mouse sense is right now. A lower ADS sense will make AWPing easier, and it will allow you to track targets better when you aim down sights with your rifles. For comparison, if your ADS sense is 1.0 right now, experiment by lowering it 25% to 0.75 and see how you perform. You will notice that the lower sense when you ADS will allow you to gain more headshots and hit targets that are far away. It will also allow you to track fast moving targets a lot better while AWPing, which always makes for some cool clutch kills and plays. This ADS sensitivity is completely personal preference, so experiment with your sense and see what kind of results you get over time. For our eighth and final tip, we will be talking about the benefits of binding in-game pings and commands to your mouse buttons. Pings and radio commands are some of the best communication tools that we have in Valorant. These tools will allow you to communicate what your situation is and exactly where someone is on the map. Binding this to one of your mouse buttons makes it a lot more efficient to alert your teammates of impending danger, where you last saw an enemy, or where you should hold an angle. Pings especially help players without mics communicate with greater detail. Also, when you don't know the call out for something, you can ping it for your entire team to see. This tip is totally preference based, so experiment with your mouse binds and try adding pings to your mouse setup. You'll be surprised how much smoother in-game communication can be when you can accurately get info across your teammates without even having to talk. 
Well everyone, that's all we have for 8 settings you can change to improve your win rate. If you liked the video, then be sure to drop a like and consider subscribing if you enjoyed the content. We upload new videos just like this one every single day, and the best way to stay notified of that is by ringing the notification bell. Don't forget to check out ProGuys.com for some truly amazing coaching. Remember to stay safe out there, and I will see you all again very soon. And just in case you forgot to get your duo partner a gift, you can give the gift of ProGuides points instead.